よ雨だって吹くだって運命に今日が導くから彼氏の靴やロックスタラーやショーテンもやっぱ天が雨を待ってる Um, so this week is career week. That was picked by our lovely Tallulah chan, which is our Monday. And so for the career that I chose, because we're supposed to just pick a random career and kind of like just dress up as like, the career I chose was a tattoo artist. And I chose that because I thought it'd be really fun just to dress up like that. And I'm all about the dressing up on this channel, so definitely I wanted to pick something that'd be really fun to dress up as. And so, got my ink right here, Lib Free. And I got the little hands there. And hope you can see it. It says kitten with the paw print. And then on this side, oh, Soul Eater with the little symbol for Soul Eater. And yeah, um. So, somebody that I admire that has tattoos would be Never Shot Never. Christopher Drew Engle. I know you know who he is. If you don't know who he is, go look it up. Look up one of his songs. They're all awesome.、Um, Trouble, Can't Stand It, First Dance, Liar Liar, Your Biggest Fan. Oh gosh, there's so many. I could list them all. Smelly a lot of.、Um, I love you five, California. There's a lot. Harmony, Love Sick. I would say the name of the one that I really like, but I, I try to make my videos PG, so. And it's not like it's like bad, but it's just, yeah, there's. He cusses in his songs, so. But he has some really good songs. I love him. And he has, some, he has a lot of ink on his body. But, you know. Oh, Love is Our Weapon. That's another one I like by him. Oh, gosh. Love is Our Weapon. That was a good song. And. She, oh, she's got style. And Did It Hurt? And What is Love? There's just so many songs by him that I could really. I just love them all. I have a lot of them on my iPod. Not all of them, unfortunately. Not that rich that I can just buy every song I want. There's so many songs that I want to buy. Like, not just his, but, you know, I, I still need to buy the rest of his songs. But, you know. Anyways. <laughs> I, I love Never Show Never's music. It's awesome. And, like I said, he's got ink. So, actually, I'm pretty sure. It's like, I'm pretty sure. That, you know, you all like him. So, even though he's American and everything, and not Japanese, and not a little girl with pigtails like Kaharu Kasumi, Kaharu Kasumi, yay!、Um, check him out. And he has the whole lip free and all this other stuff, and they'll tat it up.、Um, <laughs> hmm. So, yeah, that's about it for tattoos. And Soul Eater, which I put right here. I just finished that,、um, and that was really good. That one I watched in Japanese with the English subtitles. And, I've, and the thing is that I had heard that the dub was bad. So I started watching the subs, and my friend goes, No, I love the dub. It's so awesome. And so I said, Okay, fine. I'll watch the dub afterward. I promise, right? So I finished the subs, and I watched the first couple episodes in the dub. It's horrible. Like, wow. Just so bad. But I promise, so I'll have to deal with it. But then I'm gonna watch something good. You know, 
Black Butler. When I watched that, I, I watched that in Japanese with angel subtitles. Because at, at first I didn't even know there was a dub, right? So, um, I was watching that. And then at, and then at one point, um, the link I was watching it from wasn't working. So I had to find another link. And I accidentally clicked. And I guess that link that I clicked on, it was actually the dub. And I didn't watch, like, the whole thing or anything. I just watched, like, the first couple seconds. And... The dub wasn't good. It was sad. Like, like, okay, Sheila is supposed to sound very stern, and just, you like, you can tell his character based off of his voice, right? It didn't sound that way. And then Sebastian's voice. I mean, come on, they just took the sexiness out of it, I swear. So, yeah. Those are two anime I would not recommend watching in the dub. So, in other news, let me see, what else is going on? Oh yeah, I'm also going to read Soul Eater after I finish watching the dub. Because I've been told that the manga is really awesome and better than the anime, so I've got to watch that. I've got to watch that. You watch a book, yes. <laughs> no, it makes sense. I'm going to read that. And, um... Our Friday Kaida Chan, she's my daughter, just so you know. Um last week she became my daughter, so yeah. Definitely check out our Friday. And for a while now, our Tuesday page or Mickey now. She was Paige. Now she's Mickey. Name changing, I don't I don't even know. But yeah, anyway, Mickey is my wife. And she's been my wife for a while now. And, um, by the way, Kaida is my adopted child. So, just putting that out there. Kaida is my adopted child. And Mickey's my wife. Yeah. Um, that, like, there's, there's reasons and conversations behind that, but, yeah. You wouldn't understand. Just kidding, now. I'm be that call. So do you like this whole grunge thing I got going on here? Got my hair is kind of a mess and just random beanie that I used to put it on there. I like how it says Angel though. That's why I bought it. And the grunge and then for some reason I'm wearing a Tickle Me Elmo shirt. So, yeah, that's always good. And, yeah, so, did you guys like Little Sister Week? I mean, I liked the pictures I took, and I liked the idea that I chose with my little, my little pigtails. I let my hair be curly, and I had my cute backpack. I love Kyo. True story, Kyo Soma from Fruits Basket, because obviously this is supposed to be like Kagura Soma's backpack. Kyo Soma was my first ever anime crush. So, that's kind of special in a way. So, that's cool. And Fruits Basket was the one that really got me into anime um, like, as anime, because, you know, when I was little, I watched Pokemon, I loved Pokemon when I was a little kid, and then, you know, Sailor Moon, and that was kind of iffy for me, but, you know, like, I watched those, but, and some Yu-Gi-Oh, too, but, you know, in Yu-Gi-Oh, I watched on, like, four kids, so, that's just, like, I bet there's so much stuff that they edited out of that, four kids sucks, do not watch the four kids dubs, <sighs> No, um, <laughs> but, yeah, so Fruits Basket is what got me into anime as anime, because you, know, you don't know any better when you're a kid, you don't know what it is or anything, and, um, yeah, and Kyo, I, I loved him, he was, he was just amazing, and then there's, but now currently, Ikuto Skiomi from Shugakar is my number one, I love him so much. And that's why my last name is Skill Me. 
That's not really my last name, but I chose it because of Ikuto. <laughs> and Boris Ire from Heart no Kuni no Alice is my number two. He's close second to Ikuto. I mean, he's so close. I mean, I love them both so much. <sighs> yeah. So, kind of just sitting here chilling with Keo. Um. So, the, so, I guess that's all I have to say. I really don't have much to say. I haven't been feeling so, so hyper and excited lately. I was just kind of like, blah. So, um, question of the vlog then would be. Do you, what is your favorite animal? Yeah. So I'm gonna go then, and sayonara. I'm not sitting down till I'm older, and I'm not shutting up till it's over. Raise your hands and shout if you're with me. Once we start, it won't make a difference. If you wanna live like loud, hold your hands up.